Gerardo, you just ran your first nine second pass, yeah? Yeah, finally. Yeah, yeah. Now this is a good example of still using a lot of Toyota OE parts, yeah? Yeah, look, I guess we just wanted to demonstrate uh, what we could do with doing as little as possible yeah. to the engine, really. It basically just runs 264 cams, valve springs, head studs, and the rest is all bolt-ons. Bolt-ons. Um, yeah, as far as the trans, it's still got the factory uh, four-speed auto, the A340. Uh, has a uh, MV Automatics Stage 1.5 shift kit and it now runs a FTI uh, billet converter with a triple lockup disc. Uh, okay, so that's made a bit. That's a yeah, bit the converter the converters helped it a lot. Now it, it helps us get on there. We're still playing that balance game where we really didn't want to uh, like lose too much uh, drivability. Finally, uh, get to show what it was capable of. Uh, we knew we could make power. It's just a matter of finding that balance of, um, of getting it down and, and so it's getting a, up. It's essentially a stock bottom end. Mm -hmm. It's still running an internally stock Toyota 4-speed. Yep. And yep. it's got a factory stock the, the, the Toyota IRS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. E everything from uh, the back of the box, but, oh, everything stock. Yeah. Tail shafts, everything. So um, basically, whack the wheels on. Um, that helps a lot with traction, obviously. And then everything else is, is as little as possible. That does have some some showy bits only yeah. because mainly because I've changed the radiator and when I ordered that one I thought I might as well order the one with the with the fittings that I wanted at the end. I like your I like your car how it's actually got a low mount turbo. You don't see it so much now. I mean on any six cylinder it's everything's like put the turbo up yeah, in your face. Like the, the new turbos actually look pretty small and when you yeah. mount them up high they look like they're remount, remote mount. Yeah. Um, so I've always wanted a low mount uh, manifold. Companies have always made high mounts but no one really makes a low mount. We've made that ourselves. It's, it's one of our prototype manifolds. Looking to offer that as a um, like a turbo package moving forward. This is running one of the new Garrett G series. Yeah, so it's a G35 1050 with a uh, V-band 101 housing, and it's got a 50 mil gate on it. Uh, I have run a G30 900 yeah. uh, with a 101 as well. Uh, ran a 10.4 at 135, I think, with that setup. really limited it was really choking up top so then we decided to put the bigger turbo on and previously had gone a 10.3 at 141 uh, so I knew the mile per hour and the power was there we just needed to get it up there and off the line quicker to to show more of the, the true indicative times yeah and you were so I remember we were talking earlier um, the 10.50 you haven't really lost much down low have no you? so with this new converter it's, it's allowed me to tune it, uh, it it's not a day difference between the old 3K stall. Uh, Christos is the other car that's here. That's got a, um, a 3K, the stall that I used to run, and it's a lot of effort to get it up on the converter. Yeah. Old VL turbo school, yeah, you know, yeah. old school style. This one's it's amazing on the street. It feels like a modern car. So it, it's it's the perfect balance. Uh, ideally, it's still not great for drag racing, but when it's, this is my daily, yeah. and, and this is the car that I wanted to demonstrate what the auto was capable of. Now, for, I, those, for those people thinking, as if it's his daily, it actually is <laughs> yeah, Gerardo's it's, uh, daily. It's actually at the moment, it's, yeah, it uh, it's the only car that I own. <laughs> if I ever have any, was to have any issues, I would, yeah, not that I want any, it, I have to keep it on the, on the road. So that's the whole incentive, I suppose, of, of keeping it simple. As far as like power, what we were saying before, like uh, it does have variable, it runs variable boost on a trim switch. Um, so there's no, I can't run all of it on the street. Um, but I do drive around on 27 pound or so. It still yeah. hooks up with uh, Yokohama 052s with that setting. Yep. Uh, the car runs traction control. You're running a Haltech system on this? Yeah, yeah so running a Haltech Elite 2500. Um, I basically got all the accessories that are available for it. So um, run the, the IC7 dash, wideband that goes with it. I've got an IO box to run the extra sensors. I've got fuel pressure pre uh, and post filter. Uh, run exhaust manifold pressure to check the back pressure. Uh, also got a turbo speed sensor. So trying to get capture yeah. as much data as I can yeah. just so I have the info, especially when I, when I do push the boost on the turbo, I want to know exactly where it is. And we, we've graphed that. Uh, and we know it doesn't really like life yeah. all that high is what people assume that it, they do. Uh, but anyways. Um, so yes. what, what are we on now at about 30, 35 or? Yeah, so that run I think was just shy of, was 34-ish and it was kicking in to 34 in third gear. 
Um, try to watch how much I launch on because I don't want to uh, have to watch that first or second shift. I don't want to get too greedy. Mm. Um, seemed to, it was working well. Um, so <laughs> next run, I think I'll uh, turn that up to the max that I know that I can run. I should be able to run 38 pound. And what roughly what sort of power is that? So the, on the dyno, we've, yeah. it's a bit hard because of the heat in the converter and when you run it yeah, up, yeah, yeah. That, that's equated to about 570. So we know that we do have a lot of uh, drivetrain loss in the, in the trans. And that's, that's kilowatts, that's not a thousand American horsepower. Well, actually, that is probably a thousand American horsepower, oh, isn't it? Oh, yeah, the, yeah. On a manual car, yeah. we've, we've run that, um, that sort of boost. Uh, I think the last one we did was 32 pounds. And, and that pumped out uh, 710 kilowatts. So in a manual, it's a lot easier to make the power, but yeah, yeah. it would be useless here. It's all about keeping that turbo, the speed where it yeah. wants to be and not falling off the surge line. Oh, not the surge line, but the... Um, off the, end of the edge of the map. Edge of the yeah. map, yeah. This is as far as you would take it with the stock bottom end. Like I am rolling the dice with it, with the amount of boost that I run, but you know, we'll see how she goes. And long term, you're looking at maybe building a transmission for it. We've got a few spare boxes that we've got some bits ready to go to send to the US. Can you fit a trans brake to them? No, you, you wouldn't can't. want to, no. Yeah, yeah. The, the input shaft is oh. not much bigger than my finger. Yeah. Uh, and that's the other thing, it's like we were talking about that yesterday. It's like of all the bit, other bits they make, they don't make an input shaft for it. So you're still working with a factory shaft. I have broken one of them. Um, a bit of overseller's overtaking when I want, uh, on a uh, two to three uh, kick down or three to two and then two to three kick down. Um, so yeah, these can be pretty savage on if you don't have And that's another car. thing, Gerardo drives this daily driver, but it's not trailered to the track either. So nah. you, go, you, go to, you have to drive this home. Yeah. What sort of 60 foot did you run then on that? I think that was a 1.5. So yeah. on this turbo, that's the best I've, I've yeah, run. Yeah. It's been an interesting and fun six months to, to um, modify bit by bit. We started off with the factory turbos with the, everything else that it has on it now. Um, and then, then we did the turbo system in, in, I think it was in around Easter time when we came out last. So um, we've still got a few bit more um, development as far as finishing up some of the bolt-on parts that we were trying to sell as a, as a kit. But we just wanted to show people that you could run these sort of times and, and have this sort of power with a stock bottom end yeah, and yeah. box and show, you know, and still be the, a nice driver. So yeah, awesome. hopefully, um, yeah, lots more um, motoring fun to come in for the rest of the year. Um, and I uh, won't get greedy and push my luck too fast. <laughs> This is Christos's Supra. Tell us the differences on this compared to yours. This is a stock bottom end car as well. Yeah, right? so stock bottom end, this has just got, it's got uh, 274 cams and springs. Uh, head studs as well. Chief kitted valve body in the auto, you know, other than the 64, 66 turbo and the gate. Basically, this, everything else is standard and it's very similar to mine. This is the car that I bought out last year. Um, to have some fun in. Run 11.4 uh, at 141 mile per hour, so the, the power is yeah. definitely there. Yeah. It's got some trap speed. Yeah, it, mm. it, this one actually makes the power a bit easier. It's, it's, it's definitely laggier, but it, because of the free-flowing turbine, the 66 millimeter, it, 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 it's got top end for days. So this one, um, we'll have to find the balance of, of trying to get it up, but um, definitely has no problem running yeah. you know, down the back end. But this is not on drag radials, is no. it? No, so um, I, I ran that time with, with those wheels on this car last time. He's got some uh, Nitto uh, semis on it. It's, it's doing pretty well. Like we've seen a lot of this in, in the US, this sit up here, yeah. um, usually with a manual, and they do a lot of roll racing. And then we've seen a lot of um, cars here in Australia that have had similar turbo setups. How can you possibly film with this in the background? It just, it just never ends. You think if you were going to build a burnout car, you'd at least put a um, LS in it and here's some LS limiter, yeah? It's close, but not quite. Oh, there we go. The pain's not as bad anymore. Uh, no, it's still there. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. You just, we can't win. That's, that's the same car. That's echoing off the um, sheds there, I reckon. <laughs> Surely we've done a head gasket by now. 
They don't do hibiscus, they just mang yeah. for eternity. We get a lot of um, Americans, what's this mang, mang? 